guys subscribers and viewers of our weekly channel i welcome you back once more to this wonderful channel so in this video i'm going to talk about a tool in microtech router called touch touch is a tool that is used for many things okay so kindly stay tuned stick to this channel whilst i give you details and i show you the purpose and how to use this particular tool in microtech thank you So without wasting time, I've opened my wind box, okay, which is the interface I prefer to use for this touch configuration. And there are two places you can find the touch, either on the interfaces tab or at um, the tools tab. This is what I mean. This is the interface. And upon selecting any of this interface, you would be able and you open it you'll be able to see touch okay this is touch and then the second place for you to locate touch i mean touch is under tools this is touch the same thing okay so there are two places either on the interface or if you want a direct access to touch you come all the way under tools you'll be able to find it there now let's go and then deal with um, touch on various interfaces. So assuming um, I'm on an interface which I'm providing services on it. So I want to actually be able to, first of all, touch tool in Microtech is used for monitoring traffic on a port. Or an interface that is what touch is used for okay so like it can be used to get a report on bandwidth usage that is another purpose for touch and so let's assume that you have um, an internet which is supposed to be fast but you notice it is extremely low and then during certain periods of the day you notice that um, your internet goes down it's kind of slow you know you can use this touch to to actually investigate and then know um, there's particular devices using the bandwidth a lot and then this one I mean this report from the touch will inform you on how to shape your bandwidth accordingly right or probably initiate certain firewall rules to block certain sites and allow certain sites and so let's try and see practically how touch tool is used okay and so example let me use a working interface so let me use the bridge interface when we open the bridge interface on the general tab that is where you'll be able to see um, touch tool and then use it for whatever you want to use it for and so here I can locate my touch tool at the right side here you can go ahead and open it when you open it so let's assume that there is nothing going on now when you open it um, it gives you a window where you will be able to see the interface so at this point you can be able to select any interface you actually want to use this touch tool to monitor traffic that flows through that um, particular interface and so this time we are dealing with the bridge interface and so i've selected a bridge interface at this point you can actually type in a customized entry timeout okay and it's actually in seconds so let's assume that um i want to put like 30 minutes here so 30 minutes and then uh, we have the source address here and these are further filter rules but in case you don't want to do anything with this um settings here you just leave it this way and then at, it becomes default it chooses whatever goes on at default okay and so at the down side here 
beneath the basic you would say mac protocol we are simply saying that when we initiate a scan it should display all these um, items or components that are down here example are them our mac protocol we have the protocol we have dscp um source address destination address so with this one is re with regards to ip version 6 okay the port and probably a villain id at the right side we have mac protocol which we have various types of mac protocol here all the way but because we are we want to know uh, particular devices which are using the bandwidth or monitor the traffic we need to select all okay and then at the protocol side you have these various protocols here like egp ggp ic mp we have igmp ip and cap ipsec ospf pup CT tcp and then udp so we have all these protocols um i mean tcp and other protocols if you don't want to um, select any as a customized um stuff just leave it at any so that i select any protocol if i find and then at this point you have the ports these are the various ports that can be i mean customize for it to be scanned okay but in this case we don't want to select any particular port so we we'll leave it at default the vlan id same if, if you have any dscp if you have any you select and so when you are done you initiate the scan So at this point, the place for you to, I mean, watch carefully and then know that there is a particular device using the traffic the most is at this point. You have the transmit and then you have the receiving, which is download. So this is upload, TX rate is upload, RX rate is download. And so you would like to monitor probably we can just stop it now okay so if we stop it the first thing it does is it tries to tell you the internet protocol and then gives you the port numbers and a type of protocol that was used so in example the first one we have port number 800 which is using the IP protocol and then under protocol you can see the the port number it is using and then the, the type of port it's using so it is using UDP which is uh, port 17 okay which is a uh, port 17 and then here you have the source address and then the destination address if there were any vlan id dscp it will be assigned here as well and then you have the transmit rate and the receiving rate which means upload and download okay if you go down further example like this you would be you would understand that this ip which i'm rolling the um, mouse on is using this same 800 and then IP and then it is using the TCP IP protocol of port 6 sorry number 6 yes and this is the IP this is the source IP which means my network an IP address from my network is using this port number which is a tcp port number to access this ip address okay using https port number to so this 
IP from my network is accessing this IP which is the domain outside my network okay and then um, you cannot really see any download and upload down but if we descend down we would be able to see exactly what is going on here so example if we look through down here we'll notice that this particular IP okay winbox which is an IP version 6 using this port number and then um, with this is the destination IP okay so at the end of it it looks like um, the win box which is this tool I'm using is transmitting more data than receiving data that is what it means here okay if we descend down which is this IP you will notice that it is using more I mean it is transferring more data than receiving if we come up here it is equally receiving and uploading okay So it depends on what you are actually using the touch for. You can come here and customize it according to how you want the, your report should be. Okay, or how you want your report to be. And then you can initiate it. So it is going to give you a report based on the bandwidth behavior or your traffic behavior. And so Microtech serves you right in um, networking actually it's one of the best devices you can go in for and it will make your work very easier now the second place which I said we can locate the touch tool is under tools and it's actually the same interface you see so it's the same interface nothing changes you can always come here and then change um, the interface so let's say I'm going to use this interface which is my WN like my one this is my internet internet interface and so we are going to scan it and see where mostly I browse to okay And so I just did that scan and then you can see there are a whole lot of traffic going on here with the port numbers and the type of protocols they use okay so as you can see and so this can actually inform you on how to use firewall to block certain IPs from being getting access on your network the touch tool is a brilliant tool that will help you to actually come on how or find a way on how to block certain IPs all by monitoring the traffic that flows through this microtech network hi my viewers and subscribers thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel share my videos like my videos and I expect your comments as well. Thank you very much.